your business is in sync with LiveSync. This webinar is powered by LiveSync Accounting and Zero Accounting Software. Introducing Attorney Dexter Destajo. Manual Journal. So in the Manual Journal, we will cover access, accounts allowed, you know, not all chart of accounts you can use in the manual journal there are limitations and then the manual journal dashboard will cover that how to create a manual journal what are the different options of your manual journal including attachment reversal voiding repeating copying printing and importing and then let's look at journal reports what are the limitations of the manual journals in zero and what is its application let's discuss that so yes okay so again as far as access is concerned only advisors access can create manual journal. No other users can do manual journal except the advisor, if you have an advisor access. So that's why we cannot see it earlier. Now, manual journal would be a default favorite advanced items in your accounting menu. So to do a manual journal, you click here under accounting menu, and then it will bring us to the manual journal dashboard. So again, Manual Journal has its own dashboard, which you can do um, all options about Manual Journal. So here, we can create our first Manual Journal. So what I would want to create a Manual Journal is I would want to amortize a rent that I initially paid for one year. So what I would do is I'll find to show you a rental supplier, I don't know if I have that. So this is the rental supplier and this is the latest bill I have created for this person. So at the early of the month, okay, I book a 24,000 worth of rent for the entire year for June 2020 to May 2021, payable in four checks, okay? And I have allocated this to the particular tracking branch and department and then this is a VAT supplier contact. So what I did was I create a bill and then I create separate payments as to my check. So if you want to see how we created the check is I create installment payments for this bill and it's showing me that this is check number two, okay, in August 1. Question, can you actually create payments? in zero on advanced date the answer is yes so here you can actually record your pdc here post dated check dates in advance in that bill so now in my balance sheet it's showing it's floating a prepaid rent of 24000 here and because we're doing accrual and monthly reporting most of you may be doing that as well i need to amortize this uh, particular asset into a monthly expense called rent expense and divide by 12, that would be 2,000 per month. So how would I do that now? So for me to create a manual journal, I'll create a fresh manual journal. And then I would say rental amortization as my narration. And then I would say, this is for the month of June 2020. And then normally I would say this is June, this is the date of the month. Then I would, you can actually take this as a default. Normally I would untick the show journal or cash or basics report. Why? Because it will affect our cash summary report. So normally I would only leave this particular tick here. Because what would happen when I click this automatically, it copies the narration. So now what I would do is select now my debit account, okay? As an accountant, we should be able to know what are the debit and credit accounts we're using. So for this demo, we're using rent expense here. And then our credit would be the prepaid rent, which is this amount. 
Now, you cannot change this because it is set it up as no tax, but you can actually, when you try to change this, you can actually select the type of tax. But because this is an adjustment, we will use NOVAT for this. So this is branch one. This expense is for branch one and department one. And then my debit amount is 2,000, right? Then I'll approve that. Now, if you want this to be reversed, just put the date when you want this automatically reversed. You can save this as draft. Otherwise, you can post this. And then once it's posted, this is going to be recorded in your ledger. And this would be under the posted tab of your dashboard now, okay? So it's showing us 2000 on June. Now let's look at how it would look like in our balance sheet. So our balance sheet now is showing less than 2000 here. It would be showing 2000 and then our profit and loss. Again, I'm very familiar with using the old profit and loss report. So here we are going to be seeing a rent amount here and then when we try to run per branches we would be able to see that this is now in 2000 in your branch one okay so that is how very quickly we can create a manual journal for this now a tip that we can give you is that since you are already paying creating a balance sheet of 24,000, so what would happen in july in august you keep creating this entry every month now, there's a risk of error there because it's possible that you will forget the entry. So what we recommend is you create this particular entry as a repeating manual journal so that when the date will come, it will automate and create the posting every month as it comes until it expires. So how do you do a, to create a repeating manual journal? So you go to a particular journal that you would want to repeat, go to option, create repeat, and then I would do is my next journal, I would create one journal per month. I would start on June, uh, on June 31, and then I would end on June or May 31, right? You can take this as an option as once the date hits, it will be saved as a draft of journal. Otherwise, it will be post. And then you see an amortization here. The, it copies the narration. So what I would do is insert a default placeholder where it detects that this month would be, if it would be July, then it's July 2020. And then I would also change the plate. Oops. And then it copies here. And then I leave everything the same. So when I do that, okay, I just need to give you an illustration. So maybe I'll put this as June 30, for example. I'll edit this later just to see how it, it's the effect of the post. But generally, it would be July 31, right? But just for this purpose, I'm doing this. When you hit save, the system automatically creates the post if it's already on, if that date would come in. Okay, that's the problem. It's not showing us here. So then in the repeating, let me see if it's showing in my post that it created already. No, it did not create, so my mistake. So what I would want to do is I'll just change the next period to July 30. Did not work because today is still 19 and I have put the date June 30. So if I would save this, now what would happen when June, when the date, the system, your computer date would say it's already June 30, July 31, then it would create an automatic entry here in your journal without you doing anything for that end of the month. All you need to do is just to check your lapsing schedule of your prepaid rent at the end of the month. So that's how easily you can create manual journal in zero. Okay, so that also you can do a repeating on that the same. So what are the options we can use in zero? You can print the journal. This is how it would look like. Right, that's the journal. If you need to print that and file, you can attach the journal. So if this is a schedule, the, this entry is part of a schedule, attach the schedule here. You can repeat this, you can reverse this, you can void this, and then you can copy, okay, the same journal, and then you can also edit this at any time. So that's what you can actually do in manual journal. Now, finally, what are the applications for manual journal in zero? So in our example, 
you can use zero for amortization and then you can create repeating manual journal you can also do provisioning no so when you are creating a provision through a manual journal which you can do you can use manual journal if you need to do adjustment it either be audit triggered adjustment or just a simple month and adjustment you can create here and then finally when you are closing a book and then you're creating a certain accrual and then you would want to reverse this towards the beginning of your balance sheet year next balance sheet year then you can also do the reverse uh, option in the manual journal then limitations so again as i said limitations here is that the only person who can do a manual journal would only be the advisor okay second limitation you cannot use when you're doing accounts here your bank accounts will not be an option okay it will not show up as an option for you second system accounts would not also show up here so for example you would intend to create a manual journal which you use debit or credit an account that is a bank type let's say rock bank or pity cash that you cannot do it here also if for example you would want to adjust accounts receivable and accounts payable wage payable or sales tax no sorry all the system accounts because they are system accounts you cannot use that account okay so for bank type and pt cash if you want to do a journal do that by using the bank account module which i will discuss later either spend money receive money or transfer if you're doing if you're going to adjust an account using manual if you intend to adjust the accounts accounts receivable and accounts payable you cannot use that in our manual journal what you need to do is you have to use the invoice because the system account of invoice is accounts receivable and then the system account of the bill is the accounts payable and you cannot do that in your manual journal so that is for now for our manual journal demo or uh, introduction in zero